good morning today we are going to introduce the quantitative theory of money why should the quantitative theory of money be introduced the quantitative theory of money can be viewed as a special case of the economic theory behind the lm curve the equation behind the lm curve is that the real supply for money is equal to real demand for money and the demand for money depends on the transaction demand and the speculative demand a simple version of the quantitative theory of money ignores the effects of interest rate and postulate the real money supply is equal to k y where k is a positive constant the advantage of the quantitative theory of money is that it explicitly brings in the relationship between the price level and the money supply and output this is important because as remarked by the milton friedman inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon without the quantitative theory of money it is hard to discuss inflation how well does the quantitative theory of money fit the empirical data given that we ignore the effects of interest rate some variants of the quantitative theory of money have been applied to many economies including hong kong and china it is known that the quantitative theory of money works very well to empirically test the model usually we need to modify the quantitative theory of money a bit real money supply is equal to ky can be expressed in the form of small m minus small p equal to small y where small m is the percentage change in money supply the small p is the percentage change in price level small y is the percentage change in output note that the growth rate of k must be zero because it is a constant alternatively small p is equal to small m minus y inflation is positively related to growth rate in money supply and negatively related to output more advanced theories tells us that the real demand for money is better described by the real money balances where expected price is the expected inflation rate this is because we don't know what inflation is going to be and so we can only form expectation of it in practice expected inflation rate depends on past values of actual inflation due to this complication more sophisticated version of the quantitative theory of money assume that the inflation depends on current and past value of the growth rates of money supply and output This version of the quantitative theory of money can explain more than 99% of the changes in prices in Hong Kong. In historically the quantitative theory of money has another form mv is equal to py where v is the velocity of money it is supposed to measure how often the money stock turns over in each period. alternatively we can write v equal to nominal gdp divided by nominal money supply mv is equal to py should be treated as an identity rather than the equation because by the definition of v it must always true when there are changes in money and price or output then we may have to adjust empirically the v in the identity above need to be a constant if we impose the assumption that v is a constant then we have the quantitative theory of money which can be tested empirically the new version of the quantitative theory of money is real money supply equal to ky where k is equal to 1 over the velocity uh, the next part of the quantitative theory of money can uh, can be explained 
in the next lectures thank you